Gym owners, we are back. Kale Owen here with Ed Turney, and we've got another lesson for you guys. Put yourself in this position, right? You're spending a bunch of money on marketing, or a bunch of money, right? It could be for you, it's all relative to everyone. And you're getting these new people coming in on a trial. You're filling your gym with trials, but at the end of every month, you are not seeing these people stick. And so when you look at your revenue every single month, you don't see that EFT growing. That EFT membership is staying the same or even dropping because those EFT members are actually leaving and you're not refilling the pipeline. You're spending all this time, all this energy, Energy, trying to get people in the gym and you're getting people in the gym, but they're just not staying, right? So one of the things that we want to talk about today is how we can fix that because it is a major issue. Most gyms, right? We talk about this are a monthly reoccurring revenue model, an MRR model where they are built on generating reoccurring revenue every single month. So they continue to grow. I think every gym owner's goal would be to have 30, 50, $80,000 a month of reoccurring revenue that they can count on every single month, knowing that all their expenses are covered, everything else is set. So how do we get to that? How do we go from a model that's broken where all these trials are coming in and they're not converting into long-term members? We're gonna get to the solution in a second, but just think about this, cause I had this issue. I remember one month I did the like reverse math of like what I needed to break even this month. And I had to do 110 trials. And at the time, the trial process was a nightmare. So I don't, I don't even get into it. I don't want to put bad ideas in your head. But I needed 110 people to come in and, and take a class for me to actually break even based on our conversion percentages. This does not work. <laughs> and even if it's like a 40, 50% conversion, it's just, it's just, you can't do it, right? The, the, the issue here is how do we get every trial to convert? And so there's a couple of basic psychological things, but Kale's going to explain it. But fundamentally, the concept we talk about is to downsell the upsell because the the upsell is continuity. They came in on a trial, six weeks, 21 days, 12 weeks. It, it doesn't matter what the front end amount of time is, but it's an amount of time that they paid a premium for, and then we're going to upsell them into continuity. But the upsell is going to be the actual downsell. Yeah, let's talk about real quick the psychology of this, which a lot of gym owners, in my opinion, struggle with this. They do it backwards. Yeah, they do it yeah. backwards, where they're actually trying to get people into the long term and they're trying to do it right away. But they're struggling with this, but and this is something that, this is a belief that we break with a lot of gym owners. Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? <laughs> and the game is that people out there, the people that are not going to a gym and they see an ad or they hear about your gym, they are more inclined and they would prefer to start with a predefined time frame in which to test out your gym. There's a reason why all the top gyms do a 14 day trial, a 30 day half off or whatever it is, come in for a 30 day trial six week free trial, 21 day free trial, 28 day summer slim down, free trial, come on in. There's a reason that that happens. And the reason is, is because there's nothing sexy about, hey, come in and join for a year. There's nothing sexy because we all know that working out is already hard. People already understand this. They know that they need it, but they would prefer to believe that they can do it in a shorter amount of time. So mm -hmm. what do we do? We give them what they need wrapped up in what they want. We wanna make sure that we're doing that. And so from a beginning standpoint, it's much easier to take someone who comes in on a predetermined time frame a, let's say we're gonna use a six week free trial because that was a staple in the industry for a long time. It's what a lot of gyms still use today. Still works. Still absolutely works. So a six week free trial, they come in, they put a deposit down to start at your facility because they're gonna lose X amount of weight. They come in, they pay $500. You collected $500 down. That's a lot more than if they came in and you tried to sell them on EFT because if they just came in and just bought your basic membership, the average gym owner's basic membership is $120 a month. Not what we suggest, but that's the average. And so you can get someone to come in, commit $500 down because it's a predetermined time frame, and there's other aspects to that offer which makes it irresistible and why people do that. They come in, they pay this, but the problem is, is that we see a lot of gyms that run this type of model without having the right pieces in place. They lose all those people on the back end because they're like, challenges don't work. Mm -hmm. Challenges don't work. People come in and they just leave. I don't get to keep them. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because there's a process issue in how you get those people from committing $500 to work six weeks with you to getting them to actually stick for 12 months, two years, three years, five years for a lifetime. The math behind that is really simple. Someone comes in, they're committing, they're paying with their dollars, with their time, everything else, and they're going to put more down. What you want to do is you want to take that commitment that they had and you want to honor that and reward them for that commitment by giving them an offer that essentially is cheaper per week than what they were currently paying. So if it's $500, right, they're paying a little under $100 per week. They're paying that for the six weeks. You want to give them an option to stay with you for longer than the six week, but cheaper than their weekly rate. When we say downselling your upsell, you're downselling the price and upselling the length of time and you're increasing their commitment. So when 
someone comes to you and they're paying $500, right? Or let's just say 600, it's easier on the math, 600, so $100 mm -hmm. a week. And then all of a sudden you hit them with like, you're gonna get all this, all this, all this, all this. Oh, and by the way, you're mm -hmm. gonna pay half the price per week than what you're paying right now. Sound fair? And they're like, wait, what? So mm -hmm. I'm gonna get all of these extra things that you're gonna give me and you're gonna stack this and I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna reach my goal in 12 months, whatever. Mm -hmm. So if I sign up today, I only have to pay half of that amount. Mm -hmm. It makes it so much easier to be able to convert people by setting up your offer so that your long-term commitment is half the price yep. of what they were paying on that first installment that they were coming in on. I want to set up systems where a mediocre salesperson 100%. can win. If you're great at sales, great, sell high ticket. But for someone like like a frontline coach salesperson, I want this process to be so simple that if they mess up everything in the script, they still close them because the offer always wins. Remember that. Offer always wins. If the offer is irresistible, it will always win. There's two psychological frames. The wrong way first, right? Basically, they pay nothing to start, yep. right? Right, Or a couple of dollars. Mm -hmm. And now they're associating your service with a couple of dollars. If it's whatever, $21, 21 days, like those things are going to get them in the door, but then you got to sell them something premium, okay? That's yep. another video. But if it's, if it's super low cost, right? And then you give them tremendous value, they're like, great, that's what this service is worth. And then you're like, awesome, now that you've you've got an amazing service, give me five or 10 times the amount of money you're currently giving me to stay. When you say it out loud, you're like, no wonder they don't, they don't sign up. They don't value it. Yeah. As opposed to they pay a premium price because it's a short amount of time. So basically they're afraid of commitment because they don't trust you, they've been burned before. So they'll pay more for the six weeks or you know four weeks, whatever, right? The, the premium pricing. Then you over deliver, then they go, wow, this is worth what I paid. And then you go, great, I'm gonna keep giving you what I'm giving you. Plus I'm gonna give you two or three more things, right? There should always be like bonuses on the always. sales conversion meeting. Oh, and Susie, because I like to reward hard work because you're doing so amazing and you've been part of the family and community, I'm gonna drop your price in half. Sound fair? Which one of those two frames sounds easier to close? Obviously the second one. I mean, I remember we used to have people at my gym like, they would go, really? What's the catch? It was so oh, good yeah. to like, I go, there's no catch. This is, this is the price going forward because I know it's gonna take you X amount of months or the whole year to get to your long-term goal. And I wanna make sure you get there because we care about people here. That's a much better pitch, right? Than trying to arm wrestle them to get some high ticket thing. And this is something that you can scale very easily with a team of coaches that are committed to the service. And when you're talking about scaling teams, you wanna make this offer as irresistible as possible yeah. so that anyone can sell it. The other piece on this is just making sure that as you're following through, you wanna make sure that when you sell these people is really just as important yes. as the actual sales process itself. And what I what we see with a lot of gym owners is a lot of gym owners and businesses that run a trial offer tend to wait too long mm -hmm. to try to lock individuals in and prospects in or trial members in mm -hmm. to a long-term membership. Because what you wanna do is you wanna capitalize on those early wins. Mm -hmm. Those early wins, and especially by wowing them early on, all of a sudden they get a taste, they're all in, they're completely engulfed in your process and your community and what you're giving them and they're seeing massive results. They're losing, they lost five pounds in the first week, they lost four and a half pounds in the second week, they lost mm -hmm. another five pounds in the third week and they're mm -hmm. absolutely crushing it just by simple diet adjustments. And that means by week three, they've lost almost 15 pounds. They haven't done that in years. This is when you want to meet with them. Again, using that six week free trial, when you're making these sales, you wanna do it at the halfway point. And that halfway point locks it in and you can also provide bonuses for people by signing up right then. Mm -hmm capitalizing on all these other things that they can do. You wanna make sure that when you're selling people on any type of trial, you're not waiting until the end and hoping that they sign up. You always wanna make sure that you get that, that John Hancock on the contract and making sure that they're signing it no matter what. This is a big piece too, is that a lot of times we talk to gym owners, I wanna hit on this real quick, is mm -hmm. gym owners talk about, they're like, yeah, cool. So I just run them right into EFT after the challenge. So I just make this assumed close. And while that's really cool, you still need to make sure, even if you they know that they're re going into reoccurring EFT, you, you have to meet with them. Yeah. They have to be sold again. Never make the assumption that they want to stay. You still want to gather feedback. You still need to sell them. You still wanna make sure that they're locked in and that they're ready to go yeah every relationship is month to month in your life <laughs> always. Always. all relationships are month to month in your life always you always have to over deliver wrapping this up real quick so make sure that you are down selling your upsell so you're offering a higher ticket front end offer for a defined period of time 21 days 28 days six week and that that ticket should be anywhere between three really roughly priced around a hundred dollars a week Mm -hmm. That's what it should be. And then when you're selling them on the back end, you're converting them, you're gonna be down selling price and up selling length of time. Mm -hmm. And so that commitment goes longer, price goes lower, and it makes just that sale so much easier. And frame it as a reward because they did a great job. And Susie, you're the exact kind of person we want in our community. Till next time, see ya.